I understand the other superstar free agents out there, the Turners, Correas, etc. Uh, they're going to get paid. They have a different skill set maybe than Judge, but are they waiting for Judge to kind of set that marker for them? It's a great question, Bob, and I'm going to say yes, but with a small Y, I think it behooves those players to see what happens with Judge, see what Judge's number is, and then perhaps they can play off that. If Judge ends up going somewhere besides New York, do the Yankees then become players for a Turner or a Correa? But I also think even if you are one of those elite free agents or if you're a free agent who has less fans, and fair around him if you see a contract that you think is suitable for you in a place that you want to play I wouldn't hesitate and wait to see what happens with the the down the, the guy down the hall so yeah to speak. you're talking about the middle of the road really good major league player who's a free agent if he sees a deal out there he better go get it we're getting to the time of the year where you're into the month of December and obviously you would love to have a contract figured out before Christmas New Year's and you can get ready for your new organization again Aaron Judge is driving the bus on all of this but there could be a lot of action at the winter meetings because we know all these baseball executives are together at the same spot for four days you get them talking maybe you get them conversing over a meal or a cocktail sometimes you can get some things done and which is and jack you mentioned this the fact that they haven't had the winter meetings really in essence in full blown for the last two years so you get a lot of those face to faces you could probably figure some things out quickly right a lot of deals are are done this way these days we obviously know that but there is still something important about face to face interaction i think and it's widespread throughout these meetings Yes, we're going there to report on free agent signings and potential trades, but there is so much that is going on in the baseball world at these meetings. Whatever your role is, whether you're a trainer or a clubhouse attendant or a media relations official, every manager will be available for a half an hour so you get a chance to talk to every manager and then there's also a luncheon where each manager sits with the reporters who cover his team so a lot going on.